Hey you guys, hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is having a great Wednesday. I'm kind of getting a late start. Um, I've been all into this Vanderpump Rules situation. I'm catching up on the show. I, I think I'm almost caught up. Let me see if I can get myself over here. Can you guys see me? Can you guys hear me, see me? Let me know in the, in the chat. Just give me like a thumbs up if you guys can hear me and see me. So, a couple of things that has happened that's really brought me into this is obviously this cheating scandal between Tom Sandoval. He has been with his, um, he's been with Ariana for several years, like almost a decade from my understanding. And then we have Raquel. She was with James Kennedy for five years. They got engaged and then they broke it off shortly after the engagement at season nine's reunion, the reunion of season nine. That's when they told the world that they were no longer engaged. Raquel, she you know, started having a hot girl summer because she was single after five years. And even picking up on season 10, you see Raquel really, she's like, I don't know who I am these days because she is just, she's wanting to make out with Swartz. She's wanting to make out with one of the waiters from one of the other restaurants that Lisa Vanderpump owns in Las Vegas. She is just wanting to do her thing, right? Well, it seems like she decided to do her thing with Tom, despite the fact that she is friends with Ariana, who was with Tom. They were hanging out a lot over the past few months. Like if you go to Ariana, if you go to Raquel's Instagram, she may have gotten rid of all of it now, but if you had went to it before, then you would see that like Raquel was constantly sharing pictures of her with Tom, of her and Ariana together, them at Tom's concerts, things like this, like that. It was literally like she was always hanging around with Tom and Ariana. And maybe the reason for that is because, well, maybe because she was having an affair with Tom. Either way, news broke um, like around March 13th that Tom and, and Raquel were having this affair. Raquel, like when she found out, she immediately called it off. Can you guys hear me and see me? Because I'm not getting any comments in the chat. Give me a thumbs up. So I'm unsure if you guys can hear me or see me. Somebody even said, when is this starting? So I'm so confused. Okay, the person that said, when is this starting? I'm confused because I have been started for like three minutes now. So I'm confused. Okay. Anyways, can you guys tell um, her to go out and come back in if she can't see me? I don't know. All right. So anyways, news broke. Ariana, she leaves Tom. And shortly after news broke, like two weeks after news broke of this affair, they had to they had to film season 10 reunion of the show. So everybody is coming to this reunion just finding out that Tom cheated on Ariana with Raquel, right? Apparently at the reunion, things allegedly got physical. There was said like fists possibly flying. And then it came out that Raquel took out a restraining order on Sheena Shea. Sheena Shea is also a part of the show. If you guys know the show, I don't really have to explain who she is. It is my understanding that while Sheena and Raquel were friendly, it seems like Sheena had more of a relationship with Ariana and probably was going to be on Ariana's side. I mean, basically everyone is anyways, but it seems like Ariana's loyalty would have lied with, or Sheena's loyalty would have lied with Ariana, right? So anyways, Raquel filed to have a restraining order against Sheena. Well, today, you guys, was the day that they had to go to court for her to basically prove her case of why she needed this restraining order. Raquel did not show up at court today, you guys. Raquel did not show up in court. However, Sheena did. And when Sheena was coming outside of her, outside of court after the hearing, TMZ was able to catch her. And I did. I screen reported it. And I think I changed it enough to where it will fall under fair use. But we're going to watch what Sheena had to say because what Sheena had to say was very interesting. Sheena said, I think this was all a PR stunt. And she also basically insinuated that she is going to take some sort of legal action against Raquel for um, basically abuse, you know, um, using the legal system to go after her for no reason, right? 
So let's watch what Sheena had to say when she was leaving court. Like I said, I did have to edit this a little bit. Hopefully it falls under fair use. I'm actually fighting with another YouTube channel right now who is threatening to strike my channel, even though I use their content under fair use laws. But I'm going to edit it out just, just to avoid the strikes because it's two pieces. It's two pieces of content. And if they strike me, I think my channel will go down for some time until I appeal it. So just to avoid the channel going down. I'm actually going to do probably a hangout tonight where I kind of explain what's happening because it's actually abuse of the copyright system, what they're doing to me. Anyways, to avoid copyright, I hope that I have tweaked this enough to where we guys can watch it and not have to worry about that. So let's go ahead and let's listen to what she has to say, okay? And you guys let me know if you can hear this. All right. Why do you think she dropped the restraining order? Well, she didn't drop it, which is why we had to come here today. With this type of restraining order, there's no way to dismiss the case. That's why we had to show up. But I think her absence today further proves that this was all a PR stunt from the beginning. Yeah, if it, I mean... Trying to just deflect from the affair. Really quickly, I do want to comment on this. Raquel filed an RO against Sheena and then did not even show up to the hearing to prove her case, to say, this is all I need it. She punched him. Hello? She didn't even show up. So obviously, when you don't show up, I think it's automatically dismissed. Stay and, you know, abuse the court system. There's people out there who actually need this. There yeah. are real victims of domestic violence out there. There's amazing organizations such as Futures Without Violence, LifeWire, who... I'm going to have it. I'm so sorry, you guys. I literally just hit the forward button. Okay, I do want to say, um, when we're talking about this, say TRO. Don't say what it is because I don't want it to get my channel. But I love the fact that Sheena is bringing up um, organizations that help DV victims. So let me bring it back a little bit. I don't know how I did this. So for one, she was supposed to go today and prove her case. She did not show up, so it was dismissed. And now this is Sheena outside of you know court basically saying, it's a PR stunt because she didn't even show up. And there, this is abuse of the system. And there's organizations um, that help real victims. Out there who actually need this. There yeah. are real victims of domestic violence out there. There's amazing organizations such as Futures Without Violence, LifeWire, who help people who really need this. So the abusive process, it's just. Could you see yourself, you know, ever being friends with her again like you were before? Hell no. That's a no. That's a hard no. Hey, I mean, when someone said, you know, claims, claims you, you assaulted them, do you feel like maybe you'll go after her in a different kind of I'm gonna court setting? I'm going to have a meeting with my she'll lawyer, this lawyer about week, that one. and we're going to, you're going to have to talk to him about that. But I am very thankful. To have Nima here, who has been amazing. Him and his office have worked so hard to make sure that the truth prevailed. And really quickly, I think that's her attorney behind her. But him bringing up, like, is there anything that you can do? I do think there's things she could do. I mean, this is defamation. It absolutely could hurt Sheena's uh, reputation. And like someone said in the chat, the very least that she could do, she should get her legal fees back. Like any money that she put into this, she should get that money back. And uh, I'm just very, very thankful for this guy right here. It's been amazing. How's this uh, this whole situation been, you know, for the cast? I know, you know, you got the reunion. Um, you, I, I'm sure that the show is, you know, going to be more popular than ever. But isn't it unfortunate that it's under these circumstances? It's extremely unfortunate. You know, Ariana doesn't deserve what has happened to her. I'm just here to be her support system. And oh, yeah, but... Thank you, guys. Boy. I got to get back to my baby now. I'm curious why Brock didn't go with her. I don't know. I feel like if I was going to court for like a TRO, does Brock do anything other than like the show? Does he work like a daytime job? I don't know. Oh, my gosh, B. I wish I, ha I, wish I had that. Oh, let me. I'll tell you guys about that in a minute.
because I accidentally clicked on a live stream the other day. I was actually going to Instagram to get some like pictures of Tom Sandoval. And when I went to click on his like story, it popped up Jen Bailey is live. So when I went to hit the story and it popped up Jen Bailey was live, I hit it the exact time that it popped up. So it clicked into her live. And then I was like, huh, well, I'm just going to watch it for a second, see what she's talking about. And then she like waves at me and I'm like, yeah, I don't want no part of this. As I'm going out, she's like, LB, why are you here? And I'm like on my way out as I hear her say it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going back in there to deal with that mess. I can see the links. Out. B, please, please send me the links. But I was like, I didn't even come on purpose. I came on accident. I was looking for pictures of Tom Sandoval. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, you look great today. Um, maybe one of the best court courtroom outfits i've seen you know head to toe <laughs> style watch i'm just like thank you everyone <laughs> please drive safe today all right god bless you know the restraining orders is out of the way here but okay so this is her attorney talking now so after sheena left um they were able to catch her attorney and talk to her attorney and this is what he had to say do you think that prosecutors you know like could could uh could file some kind of charges against her you know like in a it is an a, a assault that was that was claimed, you know? Absolutely, prosecutors could file this case. And it's not Raquel's decision. That's the district attorney or the city attorney. So Raquel set in motion all sorts of legal proceedings and consequences that she doesn't have any control over. So that's the thing. Like, if Raquel filed an RO under false pretenses, under lies, for whatever reason, like say she alleged that Sheena hit her when Sheena did not hit her, then she could also get in trouble for filing a false report by lying on a report. And that like you can get arrested for that. You can't just drop it. Once you file a police report, once you request a restraining yeah. order, there's a whole system in play. And you can't just say, hey, I changed my mind. Oh, it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it, it, as far as the show goes, you know, like, how could they have even continued filming the show with this in the way, right? I mean, well, do you think the, the reason she dropped it is because of that? Because she wanted, you know, she got the check to make? I don't know if she dropped it because of the show or she saw the writing on the wall and she realized that she was going to lose. But there's no way that Raquel and Sheena could have been on the show together if there's a permanent restraining order. I feel like they could have that. Because, like, Ryan and Macy was on the show when there was a restraining order. And the thing is, is they just cannot talk about each other. They don't film together except at the reunions. They can keep that separate. separate. So I do think they could have continued the show if there was an RO. It, it would have been, you know, more difficult. And, of course, the show would have been upset because now the show can't run to Sheena and be like, so talk about Raquel because they wouldn't have been able to do that. Place. I mean, yeah. it's impossible. Even filming the reunion was a logistical nightmare. Yeah. Well, as, as, as far as it goes, like, yeah, you're obviously her counsel, you know, through the end of this. Um, Howard, can I give this to him? Sorry, Howard, can I give this to him? Do, 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 you, do you feel like uh, that your client maybe will file some kind of civil situation? Because, you know, this drag, you, you say not, I punched yeah. you in the face. That's like dragging my name through the mud a little bit, right? Of it's, course. It's, and Sheena has, Sheena has potential claims for defamation malicious prosecution, abuse of process. Obviously, I got to talk to her. That's a decision that she's going to have to make. But, yeah. I mean, she certainly has those plans if she wants to pursue them. Okay, so. All right, let's talk about that. So very interesting outcome, in my opinion. It really makes me wonder. Um, yeah, all apologies from the chat. It sounds like Raquel has opened up a can of worms. She wouldn't know how to deal with exactly and you guys i want to say from watching the show starting at season nine which i am going to try to go back and start at season one um when i finish what i'm at uh we're about to watch the reunion i guess in an another couple weeks i don't know but once the show is like on their hiatus where it's like months in between i'm going to try to start back over so i can get a better understanding because everybody's like no you got to go back i said on one of my videos that starting in season nine i like tom i was like oh my god i like tom seeing him help plan James's proposal and like paying for half of it and being like, oh, I'm a sucker for love. So while maybe it's a lot, um, you know, I wanted to do it for my friend. Even when Sheena and Brock was planning to get married at the engagement, like not at the engagement party, not at James and Raquel's engagement party, but while they were all there, just kind of sneaking away and going to get married. Um, Tom was like, I'm a sucker for love. Like, while I don't really agree with it, they've asked me to help. And I guess I'll help because I'm kind of a sucker for love. Like, I liked him, 
But then everybody's like, no, go back and watch from season one because he was with a different girl. He was with this Kristen girl, Kirsten Kristen, and he cheated on her with Ariana. So then I'm like, I can't really have a whole lot of sympathy for Ariana if she was like a cheaty. You know what I'm saying? Like if she, like, I don't know, like was the other woman at one point. Just like all now, all of a sudden, like, all of a sudden, you know, like, everybody's mad at Raquel and Tom, but it seems like most of the people in that group have cheated. Lala slept with James when she was with Randall and when James was with Raquel. And that's, I'm, I'm just now seeing that come out on the show. So I'm like, hold up, hold up a minute. So, is Lala mad at, at Raquel and like speaking out against Raquel? Is, is she going to be super mad? Are we going to see her at the reunion calling Raquel out? Just like, oh, this irritates me to the fullest. But just like on the show where Lala seems so bothered about Brock and, you know, Brock's former family and him not seeing his kids for four years. And like, which granted is not a good look. It's not a good look for the fact this man got with Shay, had a baby. He can get a green card now a, a lot easier, but he don't take care of his other kids, right? Um, but I feel like Lala really had no room to speak when she got with Randall and he was married. And that was like, don't say it, don't say it. You can't. You, it was like something that uh, Lala had went around to everybody. He was like, don't talk about that, don't talk about that. Because in season nine reunion, or no, yes, yes, season nine reunion, they asked Raquel something about, were you shocked to find out that Randall was cheating? She said, well, no, I really wasn't shocked because when Lala got with Randall, he was married and she was the other woman. And you could see Lala's face. She was like, almost like you weren't supposed to say anything. Like nobody's supposed to talk about that. Everybody on the show has said things like that too. Like, well, we're not supposed to talk about Lala's situation. We're not talk supposed to talk about Lala's uh, personal life, her boundaries, you know, but Lala sticks her nose in everybody's business. So I am like, hold up, all these people now that are like, that are probably going to come out mad. I don't know if Sheena has ever been the other woman or whatever, but still, I feel like Lala, if you have cheated when he was married, I know she said she didn't know. She's like, well, I didn't know. I'm like, how do you not know? Like, how do you really not know? Like, really? Y'all were, were together for months and you had no idea this man was married? And the way she's trying... The way it seems like she's trying to keep everybody hush, 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 hush. I mean, if it would have been me, I would have 100% come out and said, I didn't know. He lied to me, but by the time I figured it out, I was already kind of in love with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, here's the thing. Um, well, Courtney, let me just say, I've acknowledged that I need to start from season one. I know that. I'm discussing my situation like the show from season nine and forward and just things that i have read since starting the show but i only like started watching the show like a week ago and tried to like and it's not about about doing better research i'm doing research i'm doing as much as i can but this is a show that's been on for 10 years so even though i'm like a weekend on trying to watch and research as much as possible trying to catch up on 10 years worth of the show is a lot, not just, it would take a lot. So when I said in the beginning, I like Tom, it was based off what I was seeing. However, I did say, I don't know, you guys, like starting from season nine, seeing what I'm saying, I like him. However, now I know that he's a cheater. So it makes me not like him. But just like if I were started at season nine and none of this had ever happened, I'd be like, hmm, I think I like Tom. Obviously, the more that I watch it, I'll realize it's not about doing better research because I am doing research. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing as much research as I possibly have time to. I'm telling you, I'm taking a bath and listening to stuff. When I go tinkle, I am listening to stuff. When I'm washing dishes and making dinner, I am researching and watching and listening. I have six kids, so it's very hard for me to maintain this and that, especially on a show that is over 10 years long. So it's definitely not about doing better research. I'm doing as much as I can, but because there's so much out there, it's hard to get completely called up. But still, even if I said I like Tom and I like Raquel and I like this person, if that's my prerogative, you know what I'm saying? Like if I knew he was a cheater and I'm like, oh, I still like him. 
But I did say, like, once this coming out and me realizing that he is a cheater, I don't like him anymore. Either way, um, Nat B said, I remember Sheena almost getting into a fight with Brandy in the first season. Um, <laughs> right. And I'm only, I mean, I've said, I said very clearly, like, I had never watched the show and I had people come ask me to watch it because of all the drama. I literally have people saying, you need to watch this. You need to watch this. You need to watch this. So nobody can start from season one and get caught up in a week. It's just, I, mean, I have a life and I have kids and it's just impossible to do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I remember Brandy G. Brandy G was a housewife and she was with um, the man that married Leanne Rhymes. Leanne was the other woman, right? Okay. Hold up. So this is my situation. All of them women that have slept with married men, if they're going to come out now and act like Raquel is like some terrible woman, like you really can't do that if you've done this as, as well. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like these YouTubers out there that like lie and scheme and scam. And then they want to call out channels that they think are liars and scammers. And it's like, hold up, but that is what you do. So how are you? Make, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so curious to see the reunion. So we have another episode coming on today, which I don't think I'm caught up. I don't think I'm completely caught up on the show. Um, well, I know I'm not. I started at season nine. I watched season nine reunion two days ago, I think. And then I started at season 10. Uh, the stash is not cute. Not cute at all. At all. Let's just address that the majority of these people have certainly cheated. But what I think we're seeing is people have grown up. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? That is a good point. I think one of the things that I probably need to take into consideration is how long ago they cheated. If they cheated years ago, then they probably grew up and changed and know better. So they're not going to support it. But if they cheated like six months ago, a year ago, I'm calling like, girl, calm down. You know what I'm saying? Or if they're like a repeated cheater, like if they cheat a lot or if they've been caught, um, or if they've been caught cheating several times, then it's like, well, you ain't got, you can't say no nothing. So anyways, I thought this was very interesting. I thought it was very interesting that uh, Raquel files this RO. We still don't know exactly, like, I don't think we know exactly what has happened, like what she is claiming happened. But obviously when you file like an RO or something like that, you're alleging that they threatened to harm you or did harm you. And then Shana, she shows up to court. She's like, I'm here. But Raquel does not even show up to, sh to court. I would have a feeling that if Raquel has an attorney, the attorney would be like, either drop it like go through the process of dropping it or show up and defend this or show up and say, I want to drop it, Your Honor. I don't want anything to do with this. Thank you, Zuna. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely going to check that out. All apologies. I, I requested to join a while ago, so I'll check when I get off. Some, some groups will be really quickly and allowing you to join and some can take like a couple of days. Definitely not be. Thank you. Oh my gosh, yes. Um, these people seriously need to expand their dating pool. That was something that was said, um, I think in season 10, in the beginning, was that they've all kind of dated each other. They've all kind of dated each other. Um, what do you guys think? And um, I have to go on a little bit. But what do you guys think about in season 10 when Raquel wanted to make out was Swartz, Tom Swartz, right after Tom and Katie split up. And Katie, at first in Vegas, Katie said she didn't she didn't care. She would be like she would be good with that. But then she was like, no, girl, go, you don't do it. And then we find out that Katie is already sleeping with people. Katie's already like moved on, going out on dates, sleeping with people. What do you guys think about that? Because I am like big on girl code, like my friends shouldn't date my exes. I don't like that. Like, 
But then another part of me is like, hold up, girl, if you've already moved on sleeping with people, I'm conflicted. But I think the bigger part of me is like girl code. So what do you guys think about that? Raquel wanting to hook up with Swartz. Katie can do it, but Tom can't. See, that's where I'm at. I'm like, and too, another part of me that was like, when you get a divorce, you can't man like micromanage who was once your partner. You can't tell them what to do. You can say it ain't right. I don't like it. But at the end of the day, if they want to do it, they can do it. Like Tom's not over there saying, hey, you're not allowed to hook up with this person. Hey, Mariska. Hose before, bro. I know, right? It seems like they were all dating in this friend pool before. Huge fan of girl code, girl code all the way. <laughs> Katie's a so so yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Katie. Katie and Raquel were never close. And if I left, then you left, do what you do. But watch my shoes. <laughs> Annoying that she is kind of annoying. She's a slithery, slithery snake. Anyways, you guys, I thought that was interesting um, to see that Shannon showed up at court. We got like a little recording. TMZ was outside waiting for her to come out, and then her say, "Like, hey, listen." When she was asked by TMZ, "Do you guys think you'll take legal action?" and she's like, "You know what? I got to talk to my attorney about that." And then her attorney later on saying she's got options because what Raquel doesn't realize is she opened the door for this. Wow, one of my friends married my ex. Well, one of my friends and one of my cousins slept with my baby daddy, not Sean, my first baby daddy. And it was not a good thing to find out that my cousin and my good friend had slept with my who at the time was my boyfriend when I found it out, you know, like what? Um, but Katie didn't date someone Tom knows, not a fam. Exactly. That's true. Um, anyways, you guys, I'll have more. Um, we're going to go live a couple of times. I have a meeting up at the school at 530. So um, I'll be off and then we'll come back and talk about some more things. I think I'm going to do like a, a hangout stream. We're just because I want to talk to you guys about the situation going on with my channel where this other channel is trying to strike me for using a minute and 50 seconds of their content. And basically there's, I use two clips and in, in a video that's almost two hours long and I, it's a fair use, but if they strike me twice, my channel will go down for some time. Um, I would appeal it, but the, I would have to wait for the appeal to say, okay, she did follow fair use rules. But in that time, I would not be able to upload. So, ooh. Trust me, I wanted to. Yeah, yeah, it's like a minute and 50 seconds. Yay, hang on. Anyways, you guys, I love y'all. I'll see you guys later. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. We are back doing reality TV, celebrity news and gossip, trending topics all on this channel right here. Over on the Bash Chat, we're going to be covering true crime on that channel. That channel, I'm going to put all my reality TV content into one folder. It's just going to be titled, the playlist is going to be titled Reality TV Content. That way, if you do want to watch some reality TV from that channel, it'll be in there, that playlist. And then everything else will be true crime. I'm going to get started making content for that channel. But right now, uh, that channel is not even monetized. So I'm really having to put my focus on this channel because this channel, it's monetized. They're keeping up with my pay, but they're holding my pay until I'm able to verify my address. So I'm waiting on the ability to do that. So we're going to be working over on this channel, you guys. So give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys later tonight. Goodbye, everyone.